Hello, hello, my YouTube family. I am back. Thank you, thank you guys, because you made it so that I could actually want to make this video again because I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this, just like last time, but I f actually I'm more comfortable this time in a much better place actually doing this in my mind it's just like i can definitely this can happen i can make this happen okay and um um thank you guys for requesting the second part i think i'm gonna go ahead and do like a voiceover because i have a lot of pictures i'm like why not just share them and do and just do like a voiceover so you guys kind of have an idea of a, and a feel of what it was for me what it was like you know instead of you just looking at my face and you know just i think it'd be better if i do um like a like i share i can share pictures and little like video clips so you guys can see and i'm gonna tell you the story behind everything happening and um yeah i i can i can wait so you guys don't forget to like and subscribe um like i i'm gonna be talking about everything like i said earlier I am sure you're going to relate to a lot of the stories I'm going to share. It's going to be about life stories. You know, it's going to be about being sick. Um, you know, you tell me about something. I probably have been through it because I've been through a lot. And I'm going to share stuff about sex as well, you know. And um, just things that probably blow your mind. Yeah. Um, I can't wait. This is going to be a fantastic relationship, okay? We're going to be best friends. So... Please do like my videos and subscribe. Thank you so much. And um, let's go ahead and do this. Hello, my YouTubers family. I would love to start by telling you what a septic shock is. A septic shock is a condition sometimes occurring in severe sepsis, in which the blood pressure falls and the organs of the body fail to receive sufficient oxygen. It is a widespread infection causing organ failure and dangerously low blood pressure. <sighs> These people from the Dominican Republic left me to die. I mean literally. My mom said that when she arrived, they had taken all the machines off and they were just waiting for me to give up and die. She said I must have been 10 times my regular size because they stopped cleaning my kidneys. I had retained so much water and had bulked up to a way bigger size than I was initially. She did not know for how long. They felt they had run out of options and they were done trying. And I guess basically they did not want to waste any more money or electricity, whatever they were wasting on me, because I was not going to make it. So, what was the point, right? My mother saw me and she just knew I was not going to make it, because I was in such terrible shape. <sighs> she told me that before she landed. She kept telling God to take her instead of me. She just knew something was terribly wrong. I mean, she said that a couple of nights before she couldn't sleep and she just knew she had to come. Even though she, she was just always thinking maybe she shouldn't because I was still in the recovery process. You know, I was still going through the struggle of recovering, but then something just snapped and she just knew she had to be there. She had to quickly travel. So my husband got her the ticket and um, he stayed with the kids and she flew quickly to the DR. With a lot of struggle, my family was able to find a plane to fly me to Miami, Florida, although I live in Maryland. But they said the altitude was making my heart stop. That is why they could not go further than Miami. I was in, in terrible, terrible shape. 
and I had been in a coma for 11 days or even more because the doctors in the GR refused to release any sort of information pertaining to the procedure that were done to me and for how long I had been in that situation I was in so basically they had no way of knowing much about what really occurred there when I, f I got to Miami they were just trying to save my life and did not think I was going to make it I was extremely unstable my heart kept on stopping I had multiple blood clots going towards my heart so I kept getting emergency procedures I mean filters were being placed one of the medication was supposed to help kickstart my heart by pulling blood from my extremities and that resulted in my, in my losing my toes in me losing my toes through this process most of my body became infected my, my kidneys were barely functioning I was in really bad shape and I was still in a coma my husband was trying to contact them and all they said was that they, they did not know what, what, what had happened I mean they wouldn't take responsibilities for anything they just were like no we don't know we don't we didn't know what was going on we, we tried our best you know like all kinds of excuses we basically we just trying to cover the, the asses up um, after everything I woke up totally confused and in pain I mean extreme extreme pain and I was like uh oh should I like should I have woken up I guess <laughs> <laughs> that must have been an initial thought for me like what is this kind of thing and like okay I had to be told everything that had happened it was all like a dream I just wanted to get up and walk and I did not understand why I could not I felt by the way as if I was in a really deep 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 hole I was thinking that oh god thank you what have you done to yourself around I was like what when I had decided on this procedure it was in search for a better life and things seemed to have gotten even worse than before the road to health was going to be long long and hard I was not thinking there was going to be light at the end of this tunnel it was it was impossible to think of a bright future when you've been told all of your organs are failing okay family my YouTube family I'm gonna stop here but I promise after this I will share the name of the doctor and the recovery house I went to trust me you probably if, if you've been there I'm sure you didn't have like two previous experience because I was just the first thing was the food I'm about my food my yummy yummy food and the food wasn't great it's just it was just um the signs were there and I and I chose to ignore the signs and um, and uh, I guess I've paid the price but um, I always feel like it was worth it no matter how much suffering uh, I have gone through and I'm, I may still be going through okay so I'll stop here and I love you all we are all together in everything we may not know this but we truly are and I'm thankful for you and uh, please guys do like and do subscribe um, I'm gonna be sharing part three faster than you probably expect me to um, and um, also like I said it's gonna be about 
everything that can possibly happen in life like we i'm going to be sharing all types of stories and i'm going to be sharing you know stories about my weight loss too yes i lost over 100 pounds and i'm going to tell you how i did it so this is going to be a lot of fun so subscribe and like okay bye guys